Welcome back to the Heart of Medicine interview series. Mm. Uh, today we've got episode nine with Martin Heskia, mm. and this is part one of a two-part series mm. uh, because we had this impromptu, spontaneous chat with um, Martin that wasn't really planned, but it rolled into this um, huge avalanche of information and it was just a really great afternoon. I mean, primarily he was here that weekend to... um, Raise some awareness of his uh, Heskia's Heskia's one tool. tool. Yeah. But what was fascinating was somehow he he opened up um, this conversation about the creative process Mm. and how he how he came up with the idea and um, from the the initial creative inkling that he got mm. right to when he actually got, got it into... Got it, in, yeah, have it... Manifested, ha- yeah. In its manifested state. So um, that process was so fascinating. That story was so fascinating to hear. And um, because he comes from a design, a, de- a designer's... Um, background. Background, yeah. right? And his lineage is... Family lineage, I'm sorry, was... Um, you know, from a background of designers. Yeah, and he started off as a designer. And it was interesting that he'd always had that thread of even as a designer, how am I affecting people, their mental state, their emotions with Mm. what I'm designing? Mm. And that just naturally led on into um, understanding medicine. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the other thing that really stuck out for me was because of his designer background... He is very intuitive, naturally. Mm. Talked about um, being intuitive and going into, like, bypassing the brain and intellectual realm of um, information and straight into uh, tactility and straight into... Tapping into this wealth of knowledge that's available to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just that he made... um, He made a point about his the tool being, like, just an extension of, you know, our natural physical form Mm. and then by doing that informing natural function so um he expressed it in a a much more eloquent (laughs) way than we (laughs) we're we're currently doing but so we'll but we'll leave yeah we'll leave leave it up to you (laughs) (laughs) we'll leave it up to you as the audience to hear and his story and um, we hope you enjoy it and um we'll see you for part two part two enjoy all right, well, um, maybe a nice place for us to start would be, um, so you've studied, um, you've done acupuncture, you've also done um, qigong tuina, gua sha, uh, craniosacral, and um, like visceral massage. Um, but we were really interested to know what was your original reason why to get into um, the health arena, yeah. Yeah, but it's a very good start because that's what is exactly what I'm thinking of. Because as I heard uh, uh, Lillian's explanations, uh, and you're referring to the old China uh, knowledge uh, books written three and a half thousand years ago, the alchemy that I'm working with is the and the energy and the knowledge is before that. It's Maybe even uh, before the burn tradition, it it is maybe of the basics of uh, the cornerstones of what we are building our uh, knowledge upon. And my 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 um, way into it is from the uh, the alchemist, the artistic way of, of working with it. Okay. I, I came in uh, working with design from a very very early age. I had my first release when I was seven years old. Wow. And I purchased my, my, my parents in their workshops. They have both furniture designers and had workshop and studio at home. So it was natural for me to, to do that. Mm-hmm. I come from a lineage of, of architects and also alchemists. Alchemists. So there is... Uh, there was a natural way into this for me. Yeah. And uh, on my um, 17th uh, year, I uh, decided to always search research, mm-hmm. always do whatever uh, life gave to me on, on these things. And mm-hmm. uh, I, I became a, a designer and, and quite uh, luckily, mm-hmm. quite uh, uh, well known in, in, in 
different fields yeah. of uh, personal accessories, furniture, lamps, textiles, mm -hmm. uh, and found myself going even even deeper than just this beautiful surface, mm -hmm. but going deeper into how you can work with the emotional layers of a person with with graphics, with uh, with geometry. Wow! And that led me to. Uh, opening up for my spiritual uh, part, the, the, the sensibility for energy or recognition or working with energy. Mm -hmm. And that was my step into it. As I, I did that 15 years ago, uh, leaving a, a, a quite a good career of, uh, as a designer and an artist, mm -hmm. uh, I went out with a bang, so to speak. I had a, a solo show, I had a, a grant and a solo show uh, uh -huh. uh, in, a, in the National Museum yeah. in, in, in Denmark and that was like it. Yeah. And then I went out into, uh, to uh, uh, explore more how you can work with an individual human. Mm -hmm. So this layer deeper in how can you work with the subconsciousness of the, the human being, how can you work with the, with the building stones of the uh, su supreme uh, elegance or things that, that the, the human unconsciously search for mm -hmm. and because they will search for things that is good for them. Yeah. That's the unconscious. We are so much more than just our brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that, that's, that's the... This, the uh, uh, the slower down our our total entity is is very fast and very uh, uh, large in, in comprehending whatever is is going on there and if we work on that body instead mm -hmm. of of the the physical body or the mm -hmm. physical mind things happen way faster and that's was what I got into the uh, the the way of working with the human being because it was mm. first it was the spiritual layer mm. uh, like the energies that, that goes through the the, the, the human and um, I I just had to, to touch the, the persons yeah. as well started to make this like like in Kill Bill the the <laughs> I figured that yeah. punch yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this I was, I was I did this kind of things and yeah. and, and the people turned like uh, on a, on as you turn the pa pancake yeah, yeah. so. Uh, um, they just flipped in, 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 in patterns. So it was natural for me to go into that um, part of it and I also had a, um, a mental uh, education as well. I was uh, three years in, in HR, uh, fixing uh, 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 leadership analysis and yeah. conflict uh, uh, problems and all this kind of thing. So I, I wove that into it as well. So it was the the, the the energy and the and the physical and also the, the mental these three stations mm -hmm. became mm -hmm. uh, like the the, the, the platforms yeah. and I found out by 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 working uh, the balance not only on the platform but the platforms in between mm -hmm. people were able to make the leaps and at a certain stage I it it, it filtered down to even more to the to the aesthetics the uh, now I'm starting to get words on it mm. the uh, sacred geometry is not just a square and a circle right. and a triangle right. it's so much more it's how our cells are, are built and how they are aligned how they they, 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 they share their space how they communicate wow. and and that is um, Something that is very hard to see through a microscope, yeah, right. but uh, uh, is uh, it is possible to tap into it on on a more um, if I use my whole entity instead of just my brain. Yeah, and that's why it's so hard to write a book about it. I haven't. Yeah. I started writing my book long ago, so and and now I'm even on the verge of saying, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> what. For what reason should that be if I can make product instead that is uh, talking more than a thousand books? Mm. 
because it links into the the uh, whole of the human body instead of uh, the human entity instead of just the brain or just the uh, the, the physical mm. because we do understand uh, through through our fingers we, right. our fingers for instance the the the, the, the possibility for 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 reading with our fingers mm. is so uh, uh, profound. Yeah. Babies are using their fingers first. When we uh, encounter a new thing, we will we will touch it with the fingers mm. first, mm. Uh, or in any uh, possibility we have to do it. Mm. Uh, a person that goes blind uh, is is capable of, of of reading with the fingers in uh, in a, a fairly short time. Mm. They learn the braille. Uh, Yes. Scripture and, yes. and and they can they can read, read uh, full books, so there is uh, and another thing also, it's not only just an observer, it's also a neuropath builder. So what we touch, that's why the device is a, a thing. What we touch is learning our brain. Mm-hmm. We are building connections in the in the brain. Mm-hmm. So um, being this designer that 50 years ago was making designs that was creating atmospheres in, yeah. uh, inside the human being. And this, uh, this uh, designer went uh, up in the mountains to have a, a long year meditation <laughs> period and I started to work with, with the human body. At a certain time, the designer came down from the mountains, <laughs> enriched, yeah. and it uh, it merged in the, in the, in the product, the SKS One tool, and it, it it came to me in a very very interesting way because yeah. being a designer, mm. always strong, I know myself really really well. Mm. I know all the levels of ideas that I have. Mm. I know when to sketch. I know not to sketch when I go to bed. I know I, my brain is opening, my, I'm connecting with my creativity. Mm. And I have been there, done that with piles of paper yeah. in the morning because when I was going to bed, I was like, oh, I need this, oh, I need this idea. Oh, no, I need this yeah. idea to script it down and then ending up having two hours of sleep. Yeah. So I've been there, done that. So uh, I, know, I learned also to, to just wake up in the morning instead, go to bed with the idea mm. and let it. Uh, simmer and yeah, cook well, yeah. and then in the morning the good ideas would be would be good, mm-hmm. and even sometimes to let it simmer for a couple of days to see what what was uh, in there. Yeah. And by that I, I started to to go deeper in my in my uh, way of designing, and not designing just with my brain or with my my hands, but with my full body, and. The opening of my, my energy, it was, I, I'm a Reiki, uh, Reiki. master Reiki. teacher. Yeah. And uh, it was even like this, uh, uh, the, the organization kicked me out because I touched people when I was uh, uh, doing it. So I developed a new uh, way of doing Reiki uh-huh. uh, that connects with the heart also. And I got that uh, okay by uh, the, the people in Dharamsala. Yeah. Uh, and what happened was the, the person that had or made the organization uh, okay mine and, and closed the, ch- the charter in, in Denmark so they were kicked out and I was oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny little <laughs> revenge <laughs> but what happened was that I I I have this um, I opened really uh, to my, my spirituality yeah not as something that is above no. or untouchable or yeah. something, but something that is really incorporated and normalized and, and just like every other person. Tangible, it's yeah. Exactly. Something that is, is a part of me naturally. Mm. And uh, doing that, I, I learned that all person is like that. It's just a treasure uh, a chamber that they don't uh, have the key for. They, and then they don't see the door and they don't really mm-hmm. care. And then they find the door and then they search for the key. And yeah. <laughs> well, finally one day they find a the key and they try to get it in there, but it's not, they, they don't realize that the key is just a, a trick. And the real thing is to say, uh, sit me open. 
Yeah. And the, the, the door pops up because if you're ready for it, it will come to you. Yeah. So my, my big thing is, is uh, uh, receptability, a word I did, uh, invented. Yeah. Uh, ability to receive. So uh, I, I just made a new word for yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> capability, capability of receiving is uh, receptability. Yeah. How can you uh, receive uh, right time, right person and right uh, uh, place? That meaningful, uh, meaningful coincidences, yes. uh, and that makes uh, life, uh, things in life, speed up so much more. Mm -hmm. And this is the knowledge that I also use in this. I go through the tangible. I go through the, the, the physical body instead of uh, um, uh, going through the mind. Of course, yeah. uh, now you're, we are talking now, and uh, there is a good way. That's a good way of explaining it giving it in your hands and you have it like this and you you start to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, it's the the tool that, that, that talks first. Yeah. And that's the merge. The, the, the way it, it came was uh, not as I usually uh, work with designs, yeah. but it came as uh, a note. Like the music we had in the room in the start. We couldn't hear it, but it was there. Yes. <laughs> And so I could feel that I had this uh, 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 important idea coming in, mm. and I couldn't I couldn't decipher it. I couldn't say what it was. Was it was it uh, sculptures? Was it uh, art? Was it designs? Was it uh, personal accessories? Or mm. uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't decipher what it yeah, was and it because I have a lot of range. I, I paint also yeah. like all these uh, things. And so so I just let it come in slowly yeah. and, and just take care of myself instead. And after uh, about two months, mm. uh, it, it, uh, it came one morning in the early, uh, uh, just before you wake up, that's where you are close to contact with your subconsciousness and about like the full body of your, uh, unless of course you, you, you meditate. Mm. And, uh, and this, there it came. And I just raced to my father's workshop. Put he's he's a collector, not of not of cars, not of houses, but pieces of wood. Oh, what? oh lovely! <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I found this one, and he said, "Oh, you cannot have that one." And I said, "I find you on the lawn." And he said, "Okay, you can have it." <laughs> 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 not because, not because he he is afraid of me, because he's like twice my size, but uh, more because he, he knew that it was sincere if I wanted to fight him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, um, I, got, uh, I got it uh, going in the morning and it was a kind of dream state. I, I know these places mm -hmm. where I go, where just channeling sh shape, channeling uh, uh, energy and put it into something tangible. And this happened with this one as well. And the next day in the sunset, I was polishing it, and it is the shape it is today. Yeah, right. And I spent the next eight years learning about how much it has, deciphering this. And now at this state, uh, after uh, eight years since that happened, yeah. I, I start to see that this is when it comprehends so much knowledge, and mm -hmm. I can extrapolate so much uh, 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 valuable um, and recognizable uh, 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 how do you say it, science mm. I start to, to call this um, uh, sacred geometry in, 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 in a new generation right. because the shapes of it is not as I'm uh, we are used to in our daily life mm. if you if you will uh, our daily life is form follows function yes. and if we want if we want to to uh, produce a form follows function item yeah. say a handle mm. we take a, a, a piece of clay yeah. and we squeeze it mm -hmm. and we have a negative imprint of a, of a hand yes. we have a handle that's our design philosophy of right. today now this one is as a prolonging it's a new design philosophy uh, form enhances function and that's because it's it's built on the same principles as our body our body is either concentrating energy to give it out or receiving energy to, to disperse it or we are using the falcon principle 
forward. Yeah, in everything that we, we, we lift, we always have like a, uh, a weight uh, yeah. displacement. Yeah. Leverage, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's uh, built into to this one in such a way that it's uh, connecting with the intuitive uh, way of, of, of understanding tools. This is going straight into the amygdala. I have small babies that are, are scratching their teeth. It's like eight month old or four month old uh, babies that, that starts to use the tool because it, can, it links with their intuitive understanding of handling. Wow. So this is a proof for me that it, there, there is an a, a, a area of, of understanding or, or working. Uh, with, with geometry or with with, with form, yeah. maybe we could say it, it's a secret form. Yeah, <laughs> it came out of your sacred days. sacred yeah, form. <laughs> it does feel incredibly. Look, the first thing that struck me about it was it just felt so natural and comfortable in the hand. Mm. Um, be uh, like having a background in massage therapy. Um, like there's tools around, but. Um, I've always steered away from using anything. I always like to um, just be hands-on sort of thing. But um, how does this sort of... Um, what, what effect does this have on the therapeutic process and, and outcome when, when you're using it as a therapist? Um, I, had, um, I, I started to, to test it uh, some three or four years ago uh, with my peers. And one of these estimated peers, uh, really one of the excellent people, came up to me and, and, and say, uh, your, your Heskes 1 tool is for the massage tools as the iPhone was for the telephones. Yeah. Completely new. New way, a new uh, uh, approach. So what it, it, it does in a, a therapeutic uh, way, it, it helps, it, it, it goes to a next level of if you are working with existing massage tools either you don't have the feeling with the with the patient what's going on in there mm-hmm. or you get cramps in your hand because it's not really nice to hold yeah mm-hmm. and and so you are your 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 concentration is scattered yeah you're not where your attention should be namely at the problem at the patient mm-hmm. yeah so the this is uh, um, Due to the, its new design principle, it's it's a it's going in aligning with the body functions. It's an it's an extra finger, an extra yeah. joint in, on the finger. Yeah. A, a, a extra an extra um, uh, yeah, like the fulcrum principle or the, the things. It, it's just going way more into it, and that means you can you can use your concentration at the point because it's natural to, to, to sink into a, a body. Yeah. You can use the, your concentration on the point, making the micro movements. And, and all this, all this led to completely new techniques. I don't know if you saw my, my presentation yesterday. I saw a little bit of it um, on the weekend. Yeah. yeah. But I was, I, I'm very bluntly saying that it, it brings in a, a new way of manipulation. Yeah. It brings in a new way of working with Gua Sha. It brings a new way to uh, a new protrusion that we haven't in any tool addressed in any tool, the lower palm protrusion. It brings in a new way uh, of addressing the interstitial fluid. I know of one uh, tool that is the foam roller, but that's uh, like a heavy roll that you can not uh, yeah. and, it, and you can't control it, it yeah. that's the only no, I, I know the only uh, tool I know that has anything to do with, with this the interstitial fluid because interstitial fluid is a very very delicate process yeah. it is the uh, the nutrition of the blood that is delivered to the interstitial fluid through the hydrostatic pressure from the, the arterial blood into the, the interstitial fluid and the interstitial fluid brings mm. the nutrition to the cells. Mm. So it's all these sugars and salts and amino acids, fatty acids and so forth, mm. as well as a holerone cartilage. The holerone cartilage is the fluid cartilage that we have mm. that, that is in the interstitial fluid is used to minimize the friction in between the cells. Right. 
Now, this is one thing that is good against inflammation. The other one is that the more of the interstitial fluid you have flowing, the easier is it to transport away the waste from the cells. Mm. That can be given back to the blood through the osmosis pressure that goes into the venous blood. So, to promote this mm. flow is um, uh, like a quantum uh, process. Yeah. And it's, it's so far there is no tools that has uh, mm. done anything to that. I know you can have a pill or, or so, but that, that that is not something you can localize. You, you, if you're taking a pill, it goes for all body. Yeah. So uh, goes through all your systems. Yeah, it's not it's always not yes, at all. no. Yeah. It, 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 everything is balanced by uh, on the scale by having two sides. Hmm. Yeah, you cannot balance the scale like put everything on one side and then there's a yeah, that's something. Just a fix. Yeah, with, with that's a fix. It's just a fix. <laughs> uh, and uh, so and 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 that's. That is also something bringing me back to, to the, the original uh, knowledge on, on this one is that it comes from, from balance. Everything in us is balanced. Yeah. If we take a step, it's balanced. Mm. If, we are, if we are talking about anything, it's a balance. We are waiting, uh, way, uh, the waiting of, of a situation. So our life is a balance mm. and uh, balance is to be, be kept and that you can do by working either with Chinese medicine, with the, with the herbs and you, or, or pressure, you always have like, give one in there and then you have a counterbalance. Mm. So that's, um, that's in this as, as well. And uh, to go into the understanding of the interstitial fluid is, uh, is a lot, but it's, it's, it's 15 liters in general of our body. Wow. Uh, that's a lot. That's, mm. a lot. that's a huge uh, bunch of of, uh, of material to work with, mm-hmm. and that is something that we can address. Now, uh, if if I should talk a little about the uh, the um, the possibilities to work with the tool, yeah. is mm-hmm. that you have yeah. uh, as it 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 way it, it, it works. It can be a highly professional tool for a practitioner. Mm. Supporting the practitioner's hands, mm. Ma- using as a, being used as a magnifier of the existing technique that the practitioner has, or it can be even used as a magnifier for feedback from the uh, the, the client. Uh, okay. My design criteria, by the way, was uh, that if I don't have any feedback or connection with the patient, I'm not interested in using the tool. Mm. Yeah. So this is this is the first and foremost. It has complete mm. feedback, and even astoundingly is uh, magnifying whatever I, I get from feedback from the patient. So a small nodule would be a very uh, large, uh, um, uh, how do you say, vibration yeah. in my hand due to the Falcon principle because uh, it works not only one way, it works the back way also. Yeah. So a small one over the axis here yes. is a big one out here. Yeah, right. so and, and, and by that I also learned that it can be used as a diagnostic tool. The new way of working with the, the, the new gua sha technique that is here is instead of having uh, the wei qi compressed and creating uh, uh, like the blood in the, in, in the capillaries, you compress the blood and you have uh, a migration of blood into the interstitial fluid, you have even a contamination risk, but you are creating a trauma to have a release. And I think that is um, something that even though it's old, it can be changed for the better. Because we have the Wei Qi. We have the upper Wei Qi and the lower Wei Qi. The upper that is above the skin and the uh, lower Wei Qi that is in the tissue. Ah. And by, by, by reversing the technique, instead of putting it downwards into the tissue, but plowing it and, 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 and send the energy upwards in the upper Wei Qi, right. that would supercharge the, the upper Wei Qi. And when the upper Wei Qi is supercharged, it wants to align itself with the lower Wei Qi and by that it shoots back. Now, by this having it shooting back and I'm constantly supercharging it up, uh, we start to have a rotation. We have a, a, a cycle, a cycle. Yeah, and that itself is relieving both uh, physical, like uh, uh, edema or uh, physical uh, stagnation, yeah. but also the, the Qi stagnation. 
Mm. And uh, the technique I, I learned in China was uh, uh, by one of the, the great masters of, of this. And uh, he came to me, by the way. That was very interesting. And he learned me the how you can work with Qigong Twina for, mm. for atrophy. Like you have a broken arm and, and, and the, 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 the tissue around the, 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 starts, the muscles don't heal well. They, they don't get back to their strength. And, but, but working with this uh, uh, um, movements, you start to have it growing again. And, and this, is, this is because it's a combination of, of all more things. Not only the physical, not only the, the energy. And energy can be produced not only by, by having an intention, but you can also produce it by movement or, 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 or shape. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in the old um, knowledge, yeah. we, we know of mantra. Yes, mantra. But mantra has a, uh, uh, a sister or brother oh. the, uh, of, of the, the graphical pa uh, pattern. It's, yes. a, it's a yantra. Is that what it's called? So, yantra, it, uh, yantra and mantra. This is two uh, uh, sides of the same coin. Right. <laughs> so there's 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 a possibility to to, to reach same uh, 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 free, free change of, of of frequencies or or manipulate uh, with uh, with the quantum's, and it all comes down to the quantum's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Studies made with the quantums is uh, uh, you have a scientist and and uh, she has a machine. Yeah. She has A and B, mm -hmm. and she has two gates. This is a, 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 a experiment, a, a, a experiment yeah. machine that that works with uh, how does quantums work. But yeah. this is a very good explanation on what intention means. Okay. So. She has. A, she wants to transport one quantum from A to B, mm -hmm. and she has two gates. One is is light, and another one is material. Okay. And she has one uh, button that she can press yep. now to send off the, the the quantum. So she says, "I want to have. My intention is to have the the quantum go through the gate of light." She presses the button. It says, and it's it's uh, through light. Yeah. She says, okay. Now I want to 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 have it through uh, the material. Mm. So she presses the, the button again. It's a point. It goes through. Wow. Through material, yeah. and then she 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 presses it the third time. She says, I don't give a shit, and she presses it, and then no, it goes, ping pong through both. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so this now what it, it is all about is that in between the light, the not the not uh, tangible, and the material, the tangible, there is the intention, uh, the intention from from all of us hmm. is the one that we can can control.